Dear Engineer, Welcome to the course of Gas Insulated Substation Installation. Here we will understand various steps involved in GIS installation. Let's get started. Next. In this lecture, we are going to learn 1. General information and specifications for GIS. 2. General requirements for GIS installation. 3. Installation process. 4. Accessories installation. 5. Schematic diagram for OHTL Bay. Next. Referring to general information and specifications for GIS, we will discuss about general specifications, GIS main components information, GIS sub-components information. And for general requirements for GIS installation, we will discuss about preparation of site condition, preparation for installation, ground marking and transportation sequence, transportation process. Next, then we will discuss about installation process by covering initial assemble process, docking process, vacuum and SF6 gas works. Then we will discuss accessories installation by covering earthing shield, linkage bars, platforms, supports, and cables work. Next, finally, we will see schematic diagram for OHTL Bay, where we'll see 1. List of contents 2. External wire specification 3. SLD, layout, interlock, internal arrangement and SF6 system 4. DC and AC systems 5. Closing and tripping circuits for CB 6. Closing and opening circuits for DS and ES. 7. Alarms, indicators, monitoring and control circuits. 8. CT and VT wiring. Next, we will be discussing about 245 kV GIS of double bus bar and single breaker arrangement where we will see maximum voltage, nominal voltage, entrance and outlet, rated current for bus bar, rated short time withstand current, maximum ambient temperature, rated gas pressure, minimum gas pressure, etc. Next, here you can see single line diagram of 245 kV double bus bar single breaker system, where five bays are present and three bays are future. Present bay includes two OHTL, two transformer bays and one bus coupler bay. This would require seven LCCs panels for voltage transformers for each bus bar. Next. Here we will understand typical single line diagram, sequence of equipments, rating of equipments. We will also discuss interlock of equipments for line bay. Next. Here we will understand interlock requirements for line bay between line disconnector, bus bar disconnector, earth switch, and circuit breaker. Next. Theses are various circuit breaker components. We will discuss about it. Then we will see mechanical operation for circuit breaker sequence, timings, etc. Next. Here we will understand disconnector and earth switch components. Next. Here we will understand mechanical operation for DS or ES. Next. Here we will understand high-speed earthing switches, HSES, and mechanical operation. Next. Here we will understand mechanical interlock between DS, Q9, with ES, Q8. Next, here we will understand about local control cubicle, 
LCC, and LCC operation steps. Next. Here we will understand all signals of control circuit transferred to LCC panel. These signals are further transferred to control and protection panels from LCC panels. Next. Here we will see various LCC components, positioning of various components. Next. Here we will understand CT connection, purpose of CT, site test requirements, etc. Next. Here we will understand about voltage transformer, its purpose, various VT components, types, classes, site test requirements. Next. Here we will understand methods to connect between OHTL and transformer bays. Next. Here we will understand SF6 to air bushing. Next. Here we will understand some basics of gas section schemes, i.e. C standard requirements, etc. Next. Here we will understand gas type insulator, gas through insulator. Next. Here we will understand about purpose of pressure disk and other technical details about it. Next. Here we will understand absorbent ZRAM and its application. Next. Here we will understand pressure gauges, application of contacts. Next. Here we will understand insulation spacer which is gas tight and gas through. Next. Here we will understand ultra high frequency partial discharge sensor, UHF PD, acceptance criteria. Next. Here we will understand non-return valve. Next. Here we will understand about inspection windows. Next. Here we will understand arrangement of transportation equipment, which includes crane, hand lift, fork lift, steel pipes, hydraulic jack. Next. Here we will understand ground marking and transportation sequence for circuit breaker and transformer G, I, B, etc. Next. Here we will understand docking process, installation of CT, DS, ES, supports and bus bars for each CB. Next. Here we will understand gas insulated or isolated bus duct, interconnect arrangement and principles of bus duct. Next. Here we will understand gas to air bushing connection for OHTL bay, transformer bay. Next. Here we will understand about vacuum work, process for vacuum work, points to be considered during vacuum work, about SF6 gas work, process for SF6 gas work, points to be considered during SF6 gas work. Next. Here we will understand devices for gas test, gas leakage test, dew point test, and acceptance criteria for test. Next. So far we have discussed about general information and specifications for GIS, then general requirements for GIS installation, then installation process. Now we will discuss accessories installation. Here we will understand earthing shield with equipment like ES bars and its shields, types of earthing connection bars, shapes, etc. Next. So far we have discussed about general information and specifications for GIS, then general requirements for GIS installation, then installation process, then accessories installation, and now we will see schematic diagram for overhead transmission line, OHTL, Bay. Here we will understand schematic diagram for OHTL Bay, I have also uploaded detailed scheme wiring diagram for your reference, 
which you can study later, but before that we will understand some basics of schematic diagram. Next. Here we will understand internal wire specification, include various circuit like control circuit etc., then application like AC, DC, trip, alarm circuits, wire insulation, color code of wire, wire size etc. External wire specification, include various circuit like AC and DC circuit etc., then wire insulation, number of cores, wire size, shielded or non-shielded wire, etc. Next. Here we will understand, single line diagram represents various bay sequence like line bay, transformer bay, bus coupler bay, etc. Then interlock requirements between circuit breaker, disconnector, earth switch, etc. Then SF6 compartment arrangement between various equipments of GIS. Next, here we will understand closing circuit for circuit breaker, command from local and remote, various interlock to be considered, anti-pumping relay requirements, etc. Next, here we will understand tripping circuit for circuit breaker, then single pole and three phase tripping. Number of trip coils requirement. We will also understand pole discrepancy protection. Next. Here we will understand CT wiring schemes, neutral earthing, classes of CT and other technical details. Next. This is just brief introduction, and we are going to learn many other technical stuff including important videos, like GIS factory tour, GIS installation etc in detailed course. Next. Thank you so much for watching introduction video. See you great learners in my course.